Okay, I want to talk about our heating and cooling. Um, a furnace is always standard on the toy haulers. Uh, air conditioners are an option. They're a ducted AC to keep it quieter. Um, almost every toy hauler we've ever built, somebody's, they have got the air conditioning. We want to show you the thermostat. Um, things to keep in mind, uh, the, the air conditioner requires 110, so you either got to have your shore cord plugged in or your generator running. Um, but you also have to make sure your battery is charged up, which that'll do when it's plugged in. But if the 12 volt is gone, then the thermostat's not going to work, so that could cause a problem. You also use 12 volt to run the furnace because it's an LP and it has a direct spark from the 12 volt. So if you look at this, it's very similar to your home. You have different modes of, uh, you can kind of click that and you get it to turn it to furnace if you wanted. Right now it's warm here, so um, we can click it again and go to the, the cooling. Uh, furnace and then you also have uh, fan modes in this mode we can turn the fan to either low so it's always going to run or to high um, we, we've gotten questions frequently when the fan when you're running your furnace why is my air conditioning kicking on as well it's not really kicking the air conditioner on if the, if the fan is not an auto when you have the furnace running you're going to end up having the um, if you have the fan on low or high it'll kick on um, when, the, when the furnace comes on as well. It's actually a great way to kind of circulate the heat if you're kind of like a ceiling fan within it. Um, so you can kind of decide. If you leave on auto, the air conditioner is not going to run with the furnace. If you, if you want to make that air circulate better, then uh, go ahead and pick low on the fan and then turn your furnace on.